Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3. Root.com for this week's AT&T Note 3 ROM of the week. Check out Dynamic Cat Extreme ROM. Uh, what this is, since there's no AOSP ROMs, or at least there's no AOSP ROMs that you can install on the AT&T Note 3 because AT&T locked the bootloader. Uh, screw you, AT&T. There you go. I said it. Um, if they want more customers, they should start letting people uh, install custom ROMs. Anyway, Dynamic Cat Extreme ROM is exactly for that purpose. For those of you who run a run um, AOSP, but you can't. Uh, so this is a, the closest that will come with it. It is actually a TouchWiz base off the firmware, but all the TouchWiz have been removed. Um, this is the only thing you're gonna find on this ROM. There's no S Pen, there's no multi-window, there's no Samsung uh, features, no smart stay, all that stuff has been removed. Now this ROM does get very, very good battery life because of it, a uh, very good performance. Also, you'll not get Samsung camera either, uh, but which has been replaced uh, with the Google camera here, uh, which is actually pretty nice camera. Um, this is great camera actually. And you can go ahead and do lens blur still, uh, which is off of Galaxy S5. Um, you can do it with this camera and video. Uh, of course, uh, photosphere and panorama. So you can do all of that with this camera. Uh, as far as the dialer, I know some of you love the KitKat dialer. So it does come with KitKat dialer. Uh, what else is new? Messaging is AOSP also. Um, so that's good. Other than that, I don't have much to show you other than this is just a totally lean and mean a pure Google machine that's built on top of the Samsung firmware and this is the closest you'll get to AOSP ROM so definitely check it out and I know some of you are looking for AOSP experience on your AT&T Note 3 um, definitely you can get it with this one now this is also Android 4.4.2 KitKat it is off the leak based off the leak um, to install this make sure you have the latest KitKat bootloaders if you don't um, follow the instructions for the Nox Raid ROM um, what I would suggest to do is just simply install the Nox RAID ROM and then install this over it. Uh, for those of you already on Nox ROM, uh, Nox RAID ROM, all you have to do is install the latest version of SafeStrap and install it with uh, the latest version of SafeStrap. Um, that's about it, folks. So definitely check it out if you have an AT&T Note 3 and definitely give feedback on whether you think this is a great idea. And we've actually seen this with uh, Eclipse ROM before and that's actually for the Verizon Note 3. Uh, which the developer has removed a lot of the touch with and uh, that was one of my favorite ROMs also um, because you can uh, get some better speeds and of course uh, a lot of AOSP stuff so definitely check it out for this week's ROM week for the AT&T Note 3 and do let me know what you think um, but this is not for everyone again for those of you who want to experience AOSP um, KitKat launcher all that good stuff so I'll see you guys soon as always uh, stay high on Android uh.